1984, George Orwell. Well, I haven't really read the book yet, and the test is tomorrow, so I really gotta study. Hmm. 1984, Orwell, E Notes, Why Did Winston? Hmm. So I'll click on this one, I guess. So I gotta read, and I read, huh, paywall. Oh man, it's blurred! Oh. Have you ever been in a situation where you've been to a website and it's blurred? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to remove the blur from website permanently. So let's get into it. So how do we do that? Well, the first step is to make sure you have the Chrome extension titled User JavaScript and CSS Install. Make sure you have this uh, Chrome extension um, in your browser. Okay, next, what you want to do is figure out the parts of the problem. So we have two parts of the problem. Step one, or what the first part of the problem is we have this paywall right here, which we want to get rid of. Second part of the problem is the blur. So let's fix the paywall first. So how do we do that? Well, you right click on the paywall and navigate down to where it says inspect element. And over here, this is the uh, element inspector. I will dock it to the bottom here. And what I'll do is I'm going to navigate until I can highlight. Ooh, so over here, I'm highlighting the already a member login. And this part is the orange start 48 hour free trial to unlock. Hmm, this is the paragraph of starting your trial and this is the unlock this answer now well if I go up a level over here to header still not enough I want to highlight the entire paywall and delete it so this is not enough this seems about right I can delete this but wait I can go all the way up to where it's a section class paywall mount okay this looks about right yeah this looks about right so let me just do a delete delete mmm so now the paywall is gone so that appears to be what we wanted to do. So I'm going to do a control Z. So control Z or command Z to undo the changes. So basically what I want to do is I want to select a section that's titled paywall mount and I want to delete it. So how would it look like? Well, I would want to select that. Uh, so how would that look like in JavaScript is what I mean. So what I do is I'm going to go document dot get element by class name and over here I'll type pay uh, pay pay I can't type paywall mount and after selecting the element it's gonna be an HTML collection with a length of one length of one means it only con col uh, the, o the collection only contains one element so let me just select the first element which is the paywall so now I have the paywall installed I mean not installed paywall selected and I want to Type remove. So this will remove the paywall. Boom. Deleted. That was pretty simple. Well, what we do now is let's make it, let's make the paywall deletion permanent. So I'm going to copy this bit of code that deletes the paywall. And I'm going to navigate over here to the top right where it says user JavaScript and CSS. I'm going to click on that and add a new rule for this particular page. This page is enotes.com. E okay, so that looks about right. And over here, I'm going to do uh, document.getElements by. So I'm just going to paste the code right here and hit the uh, semicolon here. And then I want to make sure up here in options where it says programmatic injection, select the check mark for JavaScript, then click save. So now when I visit this page and reload, the paywall should disappear. So let's try it. So you'll see that the paywall still appears. And the reason why is because this paywall doesn't load immediately. It takes actually like a fraction of a second to begin loading. So what's happening is we're running this paywall delete code before the paywall even gets added to the page. So what we should do is wait for this paywall to load and then delete it. So let's do that by telling this bit of code to wait a few seconds or wait a while. So we can do that by going to uh, by searching JavaScript delay timer. 
And here is the code for setting a timeout, also known as setting a delay. So I'm going to copy this bit of code where it says set timeout action. And I'm going to go back over here to my uh, user JavaScript and CSS extension. I'm going to paste the code here. So it says set timeout. And I'm going to copy this bit of code inside and then paste it here. And then I'm going to say set the delay time to, let's say, one second. So if you're confused at this point, that's OK. I'm going to explain what's what's happening. So what this bit of code right here, these three lines say, is that wait one second and then run this bit of code right here, which deletes the paywall. So let's save this code. And then back on this page, what you want to do is to reload the page. And you'll notice that now the paywall got deleted. Awesome. OK, so we've solved step one. We've deleted the paywall. So now how, how do we get the blur to disappear? Well, to do that, what you want to do is you want to right click on the blurred section and inspect it to see what sort of patterns start to happen. OK, so over here, this is the blurred paragraph. If you go up here, you'll notice that this is the unblurred paragraph. So what are some differences between a unblurred paragraph and a blurred paragraph? Well, what I do notice immediately is that the blurred paragraph has a keyword over here called redacted. And redacted is a synonym for obscured or blurred. And over here, in addition, there's also the keyword obscured, which also means to blur out. So what are some differences? Over here, in the regular unblurred normal paragraph, it says, and I don't I don't know how to read this, but it says anon preview. And over here it says anon hide. So I notice that's a difference. Uh, it says paywall preview. Over here I'll notice it says HH box answer preview, while the blurred one says HH box answer text. Hmm, so that's a difference. So this one was talking about this paragraph. So let's scroll up a little bit. Oh, it's talking about the entire paragraph. Okay. So let's look at a few other blurred paragraphs. So that's the first blurred paragraph. So if we go on down, there should be another blurred paragraph right here. So this is another blurred paragraph, and I'm going to inspect it again and look at some patterns. So again, you'll notice that it has the HH, uh, HH box answer text as a class. It also says anon hide, redacted, obscured. So it seems as if, let me scroll down. Here's another blurred paragraph, um, inspect it. Here's another. So you'll notice that it seems that all of the blurred paragraphs all share this type of class structure with a HH box answer text, anon hide, redacted, obscured. Hmm. What happens? All right, what happens if we delete the redacted? So what happens if we tell it not to be redacted? Boom. Wow. So it by just by deleting the redacted class, it makes the text unblurred. Let's uh do control Z to undo that. Okay. How about if we delete the obscured text uh, obscured class right here? If we, what if we take this and delete it? Enter. Wow, that also deletes it. Mm. So it seems that as um, I'm going to undo it. So it seems as as long as we remove either the redacted or the obscured class, then a paragraph is going to turn from blurred to unblurred. So let's write some code to handle this bit of stuff. So how do we do this? Well, here's what I'll do. I know that every single paragraph has this uh, HTML hh box answer text. So I'm going to copy this bit of code and then I'm going to go over to here to console. And what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm going to hmm I'm going to test out my code. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break up this window so that it's a floating window. And then I'm going to move this one to the side just just for sakes. All right. So it looks like this. That way we see it a little bit better with this off to the side. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say document.get element 
uh, elements by class name. And the class name I'll do is going to be this class name. Boom. So you see that there's a collection of three paragraphs because it says three right here. And they're referring to this paragraph that's blurred. The second paragraph, I'll have to scroll down a bit. So this is the second paragraph. And then I scroll down a bit. This is the third paragraph right here. And they're all blurred. So what I want to do is it'd be nice if I had a bit of code that could that could remove the obscured or redacted keywords from this bit of, from this uh, from this web page. So what I'll do is I'll say, okay, I'm gonna set a variable. Um, let's say p for example is gonna be equal to this. So p is gonna be the collection of blurred paragraphs. And then I'm going to say for, for i equals 0, i is less than p dot length, i plus plus. And then over here, I'm going to say uh, p0 dot uh, class list dot remove obscured. And then I'm going to do a closing brace. So what is this code that I just typed right here? Is it magic? Well, it's not magic. I'll explain what it does. So what this does is it says um, loop through every single paragraph within the collection of blurred paragraphs, P. And then for each of these paragraphs, I want you to go into the class list and remove the keyword obscure. So basically, I want these three paragraphs to no longer be obscured. And then I want to type enter. And you'll notice that when I did that, nothing happened, which is a little strange. So what do I do at this point? Well, what I want to do is I want to check out my notes. So to check out my notes, I'll do sticky notes because this is where I pasted my code. And I'll see what I did wrong. Oh, I see, I see. I know exactly what I did wrong. Okay. All right, so this is what I did, did wrong. So basically, I want to say this is not a 0. This should be a 1. Or this should be an I. Right, so what this says is for each paragraph within the collection of blurred paragraphs, I want you to remove the keyword obscured from its list of classes. And then I want to type enter and you'll notice that now all of these classes, um, all of these paragraphs are now unblurred. So this bit of code works. So what we want to do is we want to add this line of code as well as this three line of code to our extension. So let's do that. So copy this bit of code right here. Um, I like to add the keyword var, by the way. That just means they'll clear a variable named p. And then over here, I want to copy this bit of code right here. And then head down and paste it. I'm going to open this up all the way. Okay, so, and then tab this over here. Tab this over here. Tab this over here. Just, just lining things up so it looks nice and pretty. Okay, so... Review this bit of code again. What what does it say? Well, it says you want to set the timeout, which means don't run this code immediately. First, we want to take the paywall, delete it. Then we want to say we want to set up p as a variable that refers to the blurred paragraphs. And then for each paragraph inside of the blurred paragraph, we want you to remove the label obscure. In other words, for each paragraph inside of the blurred paragraphs collection, we want you to unblur it. And then we want to click save. And now when we head back and we reload the page, you'll notice that the paywall is gone and the code is unblurred.